How you doing, everybody? I'm Tony Gaglione. I'm Sean Adams. This is this Smack, Smack Talk. Talk. What we're doing here at Sago's 4790 South Fort Apache. First of all, everybody give my wife a big round of applause. It's her birthday today. Yeah, She's 30 Christina. years old. My good friend and uh, partner here, Sean Adams, birthday was yesterday, so give him a round of applause. Yeah. He's 57 years old, ladies and gentlemen. 57. 57. 57. I look great. We're going to talk a little sports. If you're interested, listen up. If not, go ahead and tune us out. Everybody's tired of hearing about Tom Brady. We've yeah, been talking about this for yeah, eight months now. But Tom Brady, and it's not going to stop. That's the problem. It's going to federal court. It's going to go to federal court, and it's never going to end. We're going to hear about this all season long. We're going to hear about it when he comes back. We're going to hear about it when New England makes the playoffs. We're going to hear about it every time they're on primetime television about the Roger Goodell sticking to his guns, Tom Brady thinking he didn't do anything wrong. Although, let me just say, any girl knows that if your man destroys his cell phone prior to you reading his text messages, there's he some did something wrong. There. There's, there's, there's some, some dirtiness wrong. in there. Yeah, definitely. Also, Mayweather is going to fight Andre Berto on September 12th. Who Which is gives such a, a crap? That is such a disappointment for his final First of fight. all, it was supposed to be on Ronda free Rousey. television. It was supposed to be on free Well, that's coming up, too. It was supposed to be on free television. It was supposed to be on CBS. They moved it to pay-per-view. What a bunch of horse crap. I'm not giving this guy $99 of my money to watch him beat the crap out of Andre Berto. If he no. fought a guy like Amir Khan, a or Triple G, Triple somebody G, like Golovkin, that, yeah, I would yes, definitely pay to watch definitely. that fight. It's all right. We wouldn't pay to watch it anyways because we just hack it off the yeah, internet like we always do. Okay. He also signed, wait, he also signed to fight Ronda Rousey in a celebrity boxing match with no takedowns allowed, which really sucks. Yeah, Ronda Rousey punked Mayweather. Speaking of Ronda Rousey, my boy Eric's here. He'll know that prior to the fight, I literally said 38 seconds. The fight would last 38 seconds. I called it. There's evidence. I have a witness. It lasted 34 seconds. And she pooped herself. And she pooped herself. <laughs> she beat the crap out of literally. another woman uh, on pay-per-view. MLV right? trade recap really quick. This is the biggest thing for me. David Price and Troy Tulowitzki both go to the, Blue the Jays. Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah, who are, who doing are now excellent. tied with your Minnesota Twins for yes. the second wild card spot. Yoana Cespedes goes to the New York Mets. We hits both love the Mets. Hits three doubles. Yeah. Hits three doubles. We yeah. both love the Mets because of the farm Fit, system, or the 51s 51. is the farm system of yeah. the New York Mets. Dan Heron, after pitching a no-hitter against the Chicago Cubs, goes to the Texas Rangers, which is awesome. No, Cole Hamels. Cole oh, Hamels. Cole Hamels. I'm sorry. Cole Hamels. The Cole Hamels. Uh, Dan Heron goes to the Chicago Cubs. Dan, Dan That's Heron where I got it mixed yeah. up. Yeah. Johnny Cueto and Ben Zobris both go to Kansas City. Okay, so Zobris, his... His he's a five he's a five star utility guy. He's like the last kind. We're talking about Ozzy Smith, old school, Ryan Sandberg, utility players that can play all the infield positions. Zobris is that kind of player, can play outfield if you need him to. He's already made an impact on the Royals What's, already. What sucks for me as a White Sox fan, after beating the living crap out of the Boston Red Sox, yeah, the guy over here with the Red yeah, Sox. Yeah, the sure Red heard Sox me. got swept. The Red got Sox got swept, swept by the White Sox. By the White Sox. And then the Royals get these two guys, which means every time we play the Royals, we're going to get lose. swept. That's right. So it's That's okay. Right. Dave Dombrowski, Detroit Tigers, out as general manager. Yeah, because they're horrible this year. They they're are horrible. horrible. They're old. It's time to rebuild. Look for the Tigers to be in last place next year. Yeah, the perennial asshole Matt Latos goes to the Dodgers. I like that. The, that this guy is like the biggest prick on the planet. If anybody doesn't know about Matt Latos, he's an asshole. He doesn't Look do any charity. He doesn't sign autographs. He's a prick. He and went he's to a LA. racist. Uh, Mike Leak went to the Giants. Now, the Giants are trying to solidify their bullpen. Then they go get a starter. That's okay. They're because preparing now they move, for the playoffs? They can move so their they, fifth yeah, starter into the bullpen. That's right. And, and I have no problem with this. You know that Madison Bumgarner is going to be lights out yeah. no matter what happens. Here's the thing. What did the Giants finish last year? Last place. They won the World Series. Last year? Yes. Okay. And so they're going to win not, it again. They're going to win it Wilmer again. Wilmer Flores. We're very close to this guy. Yeah, Wilmer for Flores, we interviewed 51. Wilmer Flores. He cried. There's no crying in baseball. None. So Wilmer Flores finds out while they're playing the Brewers that he's been traded to the Brewers. He literally cries on the field. They leave him in the game. They leave him in the game. Which is crazy to me. Yeah, the guy's having know. a mental breakdown at yeah. shortstop, and they yeah. leave him in the game. So the GM makes a call to the owners like, yo, this kid wants to play for us. He signed for them when they were 16, played for the 51s. They keep and he's, him. And he's been – with the franchise his entire career. Yeah. Now, given that the 51s have moved from the Dodgers, they've moved from the Toronto Blue Jays, and now yeah. they're with the New York Mets, Wilmer Flores didn't move because he never got called up. That's He's right. been with Las Vegas the entire time. That's right. So this is his home. This is what he knows. So getting traded is a huge, huge problem for him. So, yeah, now, they nixed the Carlos Gomez trade. 
Yes. Carlos Gomez goes to the Astros. They kept Flores because he cried. Because he they cried. They said, you know, cry this baby. guy's got passion. We yeah, want to keep him on the mat. baby. And what does he do? He hits a walk-off home, walk run, off home run the yeah. very next day. The very next day. That just I'm, shows you right hey. there. That just shows you baseball players are emotional. All Give right, the so guy credit. Here we go. So Sunday, for those of you who don't know, Chelsea lost to Arsenal in the Community Shield, which doesn't mean anything in the season. But the EPL season starts Saturday. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over the top six teams because that's really all it is, six teams. They're going to go through their first five games and their last five games. Pretty much determines how a team starts, how a team finishes. All right, let's start with my team. Manchester United. They start off versus Tottenham. Spurs on opening day. I think it's a good matchup. I think with the new players that Van Gaal's brought in, it's a win. I'm not oh, going to yeah. say it's, it's an easy start. win, but it's a win. It's Spurs lost to the MLS All-Star. It's a 3-2. It's a 2-1. It's a win. They're playing Villa next without Christian Benteke. That's an easy win. They play Newcastle. Who can be dangerous? Newcastle can be dangerous. Can be dangerous. Now that the coach has paid off his gambling yeah, debt. Yeah, and he went to Crystal Palace. <laughs> he went to Crystal Palace. And they, now they have look, uh, they got Tony a lot Carver. of money. They got a lot of money to spend. They keep the same players. They grow through the system. I like Newcastle. Yeah, Don't get me wrong. But here's the problem. Nobody likes their owner. Mike Ashley is a dickhead to the fans. And they don't like him, and they want him to get rid of him. And he's basically said he's not going to sell the team until they win something. Okay, I'm going to give never. I'm going to give Newcastle a draw with Man U on that one. Okay, versus Swansea City, you're you're going to hate this because it's in Wales. But it's I'm going to take Man U because Sean is is Welsh, so all of a sudden he thinks people who walk into Wales all of a sudden can't play football anymore. Hey, here's so, the thing: going to Wales to play football is tough. Just wrap it up. Your fifth talking. game of the season versus Liverpool, who's got Ben Teke. That's going to be tough. I'm going to give it a draw on there, too. I'm going to say we don't lose a game the first five games. All right, what about your rivals? What about your crosstown rivals? <laughs> Man City's going to play West Brom. That's an easy 4-1 they win. They got Ricky Lambert. I don't care. Ricky Lambert to Ricky West Lambert, Brom. Ricky it's 57 years old. He's lying about his age. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> They're playing Everton. I'm going to say Everton gives them a Oh, you skipped. They played Chelsea. Oh, excuse me. They excuse played Chelsea me. second week you of the season. You got your little system all messed up here. Jeez. They played Chelsea second that's, week of the season. Good, good Mourinho's game. team always... Gives wins. everybody yeah, a good, yeah, a good yeah, game. Wins titles. What Chelsea. are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. we're going to give Chelsea the win. Then they play Everton. Everton's going to give them a problem. This is the one I think you're going to see the highest scoring game in EPL this season. <laughs> Versus Watford. Versus Watford. Hey. Watford, zero. Man City, eight. I'm going <laughs> to hey. go with that. Okay. Uh, then they finish with Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace uh, signed Connor Wickham from Sunderland just recently. If you have to mention that Crystal Palace signed Connor Wickham, there's so, an issue. I'm saying Crystal Palace has already broken the trend. They got Johan Caballé, Alan Pardew, former Newcastle coach, okay. is doing things with that team. Okay. Crystal Palace, watch out we for We shall it. see. All right. So Chelsea plays Swansea opening weekend. Here's what I'm going to say. Swansea City steals a point opening weekend. A draw on the opening weekend. A you two, are just in draw. love with this Welsh team. Like, just because, okay, Swansea if you City, were man. not a Welsh person, would you like Swansea City? Nope. No. Nope. So basically you're being a huge bias homer. Yeah. Rate on the show. Ethnic ethnic bias. You are paid not to be biased, <laughs> sir. Uh, I'm, I'm a fan. I can do whatever I want. Okay. So then Chelsea plays Man City. We already talked about that. Mourinho will probably eke out a 1-0 victory. Uh, then they play West Brom. Then Crystal Palace. Then Everton. Okay, so that's that's kind of like a cakewalk for Chelsea because the talent Except that they Everton. have. Except for Everton. Except for Everton, right? Um, Arsenal, my team, they play West Ham opening, season, opening day. Then they got Crystal Palace. Then they play Liverpool. That's going to be a good game. Week three. That's the headline. I'm gonna game. give you the. I'm gonna give you the draw on that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a draw there. I'll take a draw there. Uh, Newcastle, which will be a tough game. Arsenal Newcastle is always a high scoring affair. And then we play our rivals, not our rivals locally, but EPL rivals, Stoke City, because they just play physical physical ball. Uh, Liverpool plays Stoke first week. Then they got Bournemouth. Feel bad for those guys because Bournemouth is gonna be relegated this year. Uh, then they got Arsenal week three. Dude, how many times, though? How many times? Let me stop you. How many times do you see these teams come in and you're like, oh, they're going to be relegated, man? Like Norwich City comes from like Division or Championship League One all the way to Championship to EPL and then stays up two years. Like, yeah. I mean, you can be surprised by Swansea these teams. Swansea City went from the third division exactly. and is still exactly, here. Exactly, dude. And That's they're right. still there. So don't count them out just yet. Wait to see what their young players have to offer. You know what I'm, I'm saying? I'm telling you, they're getting relegated. <laughs> okay, I'm well, telling you, they're getting relegated. Well, well, let's hey, do a you know what I that. say? Let's Hold do on. a 10 on that one. Okay, okay here's what I say. You, I've said this to you before. The first team up is always the first team down in the EPL. Bournemouth won the championship. They're going to be down next year, just like QPR the year before. All right, go to Liverpool. Right. 
Liverpool's got West Ham, and then they finish versus Man U, right? It's going to be a tough game. Tottenham, I hate Tottenham. They're my rivals. They got Man U opening weekend. Stoke, Leicester, Everton, Sunderland. I think Tottenham is not going to be in the top ten after five weeks. I can root for Tottenham because they have DeAndre Yedlin, former American. Uh, well, not Tottenham. former. He's an American national. Um, you hate Tottenham because they're an Arsenal rival. Now, you got to give it to Kane. He's oh, an yeah. up-and-coming striker. Kane. Harry Kane is going to be the staple of that team for the next 10 to 15 years. So shout out to Aggregate Industries. My boss, Chris, has told me that Harry Kane is going to have a sophomore slump, kind of like a, a band that records a hit album. The second album is garbage, doesn't sell anything. He's saying Harry Kane doesn't score that often this year. I got 20 bucks that says he scores 20 goals. He, he's taking that. He's 20 taking bucks it. on 20 goals for Harry Kane. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to ride with Chris on this because I think Harry Kane – He's going to have more pressure this season, right? He's going to have more pressure. It's going he's to be harder man. for him. That's the problem. He's, he's the, the man. man. So him. it's make or break for Harry Kane yeah, this That's season. right. So they've got a pretty easy five-game schedule. they got Man U opening weekend, but then the rest. Okay, so in the opening five weeks, Crystal Palace, Everton, West Brom, Newcastle, and West Ham, they all play these teams multiple times. Sure. This is going to make or break their seasons. Okay. Because if you if, let's say you steal a point, you're out of 15 possible points, you got one. That's not a good look. Here's the best part for me. If Manchester United is anywhere near the top, at the end of the season, their last five games are against Aston Villa, West Ham, Leicester City, whatever you want to call it. They basically them. can sleep through the final five yes. weeks of the Norwich EPL. City. Norwich is going to be a tough game. They always and play Bournemouth. Tough. Bournemouth. Relegation Sunday right there. <laughs> they got to play Man U. They got relegation that really Sunday sucks. right there. That really okay, sucks. so Manchester City, Chelsea play week 34. That's going to be a potential six-point title decider. Man City's got Stoke, then Southampton. We'll talk about Southampton in a second. Then they play Arsenal. Second to last week of the season. Another six-point game when he comes to the top four. And then they got Swansea at home. So that's why I see Swansea City will probably lose that game. Uh, Chelsea's got Man City. They play Bournemouth. That's why I say relegation Sunday. Then they have Spurs. Sucks for Spurs because that's when Spurs officially St. Tottenham's Day when they officially finish below Arsenal. Then they have Sunderland, who was the last team to beat Mourinho at home at Stamford Bridge. Then they got <laughs> okay, that's just a fluke, though. That's not it happening again. I know. It's not happening again. <laughs> Arsenal finishes the season with Crystal Palace, Sunderland, Norwich, Man City, and Villa. Basically, we don't have to show up until City. Well, you're going to have to show up. To, look, that game against City can decide whether you're playing in Europa League or Champions Hold League on. next year. Hold on. We have never finished below fourth place. I don't care when have you have never finished. This is a different season. This is a new season. This right. is a new team. Go All ahead. Right. So Liverpool plays Bournemouth. Here is Bournemouth again in the final five weeks. They got Newcastle, Swansea, Watford, West Brom. So Liverpool also could sweep their final five games. We could see them jump into potential Champions League or Europa League spaces, right? Tottenham's got Stoke, West Brom, then Chelsea, Southampton, and Newcastle to finish the season. So now I want to talk about Southampton. They Please, because anywhere... all this soccer is just hurting my head right now. They weren't, they, weren't, they weren't anywhere in the five weeks. They're in the final five weeks. Basically, Southampton's schedule is in the middle. Boxing Day, December. Sure. You'll see Southampton in the top five to start the season. Yep. Then you'll see them drop to the low part of the table in the middle of the season. And then you'll see them climb back up towards Mid-table. Europa, which yep. they're in this season, by the way. And that's going to cause an issue for him because now you got to play league games plus Europa games, and Southampton does not have the depth to be doing no, that. No, they're going to they get tired. Not. They're going to lose games against teams they shouldn't in the league. Southampton will look just like Swansea City did when they went to Europa. I'll give you they that. They will do great in Europa League. I'll give you they that. They will do horrible in the league. I'll give you that. Check us out uh, next month. We're going to be on NBC Sports AM 970 Radio, uh, The Game. I'm Tony Gaglione. I'm Sean Adams. We're Stay gonna, tuned for the next segment. We're going to talk about fantasy football. Fantasy football. We've got our fantasy football live draft next Tuesday, August 11th. It's going to be popping. Popping, yeah. I'm Sean Adams. Tony Gaglione. This is Smack, Smack Talk. Talk.